you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers welcome to electrical lectures youtube channel in this matlab tutorial i will be telling you how to generate matrices and vectors in matlab and how to manipulate the data as matlab treats each and every computation in terms of vectors and matrices therefore it is necessary to understand how to generate matrices and vectors and how to manipulate the data available in those matrices and vectors. First of all, let me show you how to generate a matrix having specific dimension in MATLAB. So let's say I want to generate a matrix A having dimensions 3 cross 3, means 3 rows and 3 columns. So I will write here A is equal to these square brackets and first of all I will write the contents of the first row. And let's say those contents are 1, 2, and 3. This semicolon operator starts a new row. So the contents of the second row are 4, 5, and 6. And the third row is 7, 8, and 9. So this is 3 cross 3 matrix named as A. Now I will tell you how to extract several rows and columns and values out of this matrix A. First of all, let's say I want to extract only the first row of this matrix A and assign it to another matrix B. So I will write B is equal to A. These parentheses are used to index the matrix A and this comma separates the rows and columns. So, so the entry before comma is the row index and entry after the comma is the column index. Now because I want to extract the first row, so I will write here 1 and after comma I will write colon which shows that the first row contains the elements from all the available columns. So running this command, I will extract the first row of the matrix A. Similarly, I can extract the column of the matrix A. So I will write here B is equal to A, the same parenthesis and the comma operator. Now before the comma I will write colon. And after comma, I will write 1, which shows that I want to extract the first column of the matrix A. So it is the first column, 1, 4, 7. Similarly, I can also extract more than one columns and rows of the matrix A. The method is, I will write B is equal to A, parenthesis, and I will write here the range of the values for the row. So if I want to extract the first two rows, I will write 1 colon 2 and then comma separator and after comma I will write again a colon operator showing that I want to use all the columns. So I have successfully extracted the first two rows of the matrix A. Similarly, I can extract more than one columns as well. To do this, I will write B is equal to A parenthesis and here I will write colon comma and let's say I want to extract the second third column so I will write 2 colon 3. So this will extract the last two columns which are column number 2 and column number 3. Similarly I can also extract a single value of the matrix. For example if I want to extract the value 4 then how to do this? First of all I will have to see which row and which column is used to specify this single value. So we can see that this entry 4 is available or present in the second row and first column. So I will write here B is equal to A second row comma first column. So this will generate the value 4 and assign it to the variable B. Now I will tell you how to replace the values inside a matrix. Let's say I want to replace the first row of matrix A with all zeros. So to do this, I will write here the first row of A by using the same method A, one comma, colon, and on the right side, I will write zeros, one comma, three. This is the built-in command which generates three zeros in the form of a row vector. So when running this command, you can see 
that the first row of A is replaced with all zeros. By using a similar procedure, you can always replace a single value also. For example, I want to replace this value 7 with let's say minus 1. So how to do that? First of all, I will write the indices of this value 7. It lies in the third row and first column. So I will write here 3 comma 1. And on the right side, I will insert the value which I want to replace, which is minus 1 in our case. So by doing this, this value 7 is replaced with minus 1. So this is how you can replace a single value or the complete row or complete column and even more than one columns and more more than one rows. Now I will tell you some fundamental concepts about the operations that you can perform in matrices. Specifically, I will tell you here about the multiplication. You can keep in mind that MATLAB provides two methods for matrix multiplication. The first one is conventional matrix multiplication and the second one is element-wise matrix multiplication. To perform conventional matrix multiplication, it is a necessary condition that the number of columns of the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Otherwise, you cannot perform conventional matrix multiplication. And in order to perform element-wise multiplication, the dimensions of both the matrices must be the same. So here, let's say we generate another matrix B and the contents are 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1, 7, 4, 2. So this is the matrix B. Now, first of all, we perform conventional matrix multiplication because the condition is fulfilled in our case. Both the matrices are 3 cross 3. So it will be A multiplied by B. So this is the resultant. And if, if we want to perform element-wise multiplication, I will write here D is equal to A dot multiplied by B. So this dot operator is used to specify the element-wise multiplication in MATLAB. So this is the resultant. You can see that both the results are pretty much different because entirely the computation is different. Now finally, I will tell you something about the transpose of matrix. So if the matrix in MATLAB is real, then transpose and conjugate transpose is the same. But if the contents of the matrix are complex valued, then the transpose and conjugate transpose become two different things. For example, we generate a complex valued matrix over here, a 2 cross 2 matrix. For example, it is 1 plus 2j, 2 plus 3j. The second row, we write 3 plus 4j and 4 plus 5j. So this is a complex valued 2 cross 2 matrix A. Now, if we want to take simple transpose without taking conjugate, then I will write B is equal to A dot and this is the command for taking the transpose. If I use dot transpose, then it will take only the transpose. So you can see that it has only taken the transpose. The first row became the first column and the second row became the second column. But if we want to take conjugate transpose, then I will remove this dot operator and rerun the command to see that here it has also taken the conjugate of the matrix A and also taken the transpose of the matrix. Both the operations can be achieved by using the single command. So this is how you can generate matrices and vectors in MATLAB. You can uh, extract different rows and columns and values and also how can you multiply I have told you in this tutorial. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.